join us on Patreon, and become part of our journey to uncover history's untold stories. Your support helps us create in-depth content, bring hidden narratives to life, and keep history alive for everyone. In the heart of the Industrial Revolution, when smoke rose from towering chimneys and iron beasts thundered across the land, history tells us that the world was transformed by white inventors, British engineers, and European industrialists. We hear the names of James Watt, George Stevenson, and Thomas Newcomen as the pioneers who gave mankind the steam engine, the machine that moved the modern age forward. Yet, hidden in the shadows of their fame lies a name erased by time and prejudice a black engineer whose brilliance contributed to the very foundation of this world-changing machine. His name was Elijah McCoy, a man whose genius not only perfected the steam engine, but kept the gears of industry turning long after others had claimed his work as their own. His story is one of brilliance, betrayal, and the quiet theft of recognition that shaped the way history remembers invention itself. To understand how McCoy's name became a whisper in a world that should have shouted it, one must go back to the early 19th century, to a time when the United States was still young and freedom for black people was still a fragile illusion. Born in 1844 to formerly enslaved parents who had escaped Kentucky through the Underground Railroad, Elijah McCoy entered the world as a symbol of survival and potential. His parents fled north to Canada, settling in Colchester, Ontario, where the boy would grow up in an environment that valued education and self-reliance. It was his father, George McCoy, who recognized Elijah's unusual aptitude for mechanics and who sacrificed everything to send him abroad for formal training, a rare and nearly impossible opportunity for any black man of his time. As a teenager, McCoy traveled to Scotland, where he studied mechanical engineering, an education denied to most people of African descent. When he returned to North America, now a fully trained engineer, he sought employment in his field. But America in the mid-1800s was not ready to accept a black engineer, no matter how qualified. Despite his education, McCoy could find no engineering positions open to him. The racial barriers of post-slavery America forced him into menial labor. He found work as a fireman and oilman on the Michigan Central Railroad, a job far below his capabilities, yet one that gave him direct access to the very machines that would change his life forever. Day after day, McCoy tended the steam engines of locomotives, shoveling coal and oiling pistons, watching how inefficiencies and constant maintenance slowed progress. The engines had to be stopped frequently to lubricate their moving parts, wasting time and money. It was a problem every engineer knew, but few could solve. But as Elijah observed the rhythmic clanking and hissing of machines, he began to think differently. There had to be a better way a continuous system of lubrication that would keep the parts running smoothly without constant interruption. And so, in a small workshop beside his home, McCoy began to design what would become one of the most important inventions of the industrial age. In 1872, he patented his improvement in lubricators for steam engines. The device automatically distributed oil to the moving parts of an engine while it was in operation. It was simple, elegant, and revolutionary. Suddenly, trains could run longer, faster, and more efficiently. The risk of overheating was reduced, and the time lost to manual maintenance nearly vanished. It was the type of innovation that transformed industry, one that should have made McCoy a household name alongside Wooden Stevenson. But history had other plans. Racism, theft, and corporate greed would soon conspire to bury his legacy. McCoy's inventions became wildly popular among railroad and shipping companies. His lubrication device was so effective that engineers began to request it by name, coining the phrase the real McCoy, a saying that would later enter common language to mean the genuine article. Yet despite the phrase's popularity, few people knew that the real McCoy was a black man. Many imitators tried to copy his designs, patenting slight variations under their own names. Some white-owned companies produced counterfeit versions of his lubricators and sold them as their own, while McCoy himself struggled to protect his patents and make a living from his creations. He continued to invent relentlessly, designing more than 50 different devices during his lifetime, including an ironing table, a lawn sprinkler, and various mechanical parts for trains and ships. But his lubrication system remained his crowning achievement, 
one that quietly powered industries across the world. As factories, ships, and railroads expanded, his invention became indispensable. Steam power fueled the Industrial Revolution, and McCoy's engineering ensured it could do so safely and efficiently. Without his work, the age of mechanization would have been slower, costlier, and far more dangerous. Yet when credit was given, it went elsewhere. History books spoke of the Watt engine, the Stevenson rocket, and the Newcomen design, but McCoy's contributions were dismissed as minor or forgotten altogether. His blackness became the barrier that kept his genius invisible. The America of his time simply could not accept that a man descended from enslaved people had improved upon the inventions of Europe's most celebrated engineers. Even in the years after his patents became public, newspapers often refused to mention his race, and when they did, it was with condescension. His work was sometimes attributed to white engineers working in the same industries, erasing his hand from the machinery he had built. By the turn of the century, McCoy had established his own company, the Elijah McCoy Manufacturing Company, in Detroit. He continued to refine his lubrication devices and even created versions specifically for naval and industrial use. But he never achieved the wealth or recognition his work deserved. The profits of his innovations flowed into the pockets of others. When he died in 1929, he was relatively poor, though the world still relied on the technology he had pioneered. Even more tragic was how his story faded from mainstream history. Textbooks on industrial engineering rarely mention his name. The achievements of black inventors were systematically excluded from narratives of progress. In the decades following his death, scholars and activists began rediscovering his story, piecing together records, patents, and newspaper clippings to prove what had long been hidden, that Elijah McCoy's invention was not just an improvement, but an essential cornerstone of modern engineering. Some historians argue that McCoy's automatic lubricator did for the steam engine what the transistor did for electronics. It allowed for continuous, uninterrupted operation. His design eliminated the need to stop machinery for maintenance, paving the way for 24-hour industrial production. Without it, trains would have been slower, factories less efficient, and mechanized warfare more limited. His invention quite literally kept the engines of empire running. Yet, even beyond McCoy, there were other black inventors whose contributions to the age of steam were stolen, obscured, or forgotten. Granville T. Woods, known as the Black Edison, patented over 50 electrical and railway devices in the late 19th century, including improvements to the telegraph and electric railway systems. Woods and McCoy shared similar fates, brilliant minds forced to fight against a system that denied them credit. Both men lived in an America where patents owned by black inventors were often bought cheaply or stolen outright, and where recognition was reserved for white engineers who stood upon their shoulders. When we examine how the story of the steam engine is told today, we see a pattern. The great European inventors are remembered not just for what they built, but for how their nations used their work to build power. The British and American industrialists, who claimed to have revolutionized the world, did so through networks of wealth, privilege, and racial hierarchy that ensured only certain names survive in the public record. The fact that McCoy's invention was widely used by the same rail companies that refused to employ him as an engineer is one of the cruelest ironies of the era. He built the tools that kept the engines running, but he was not allowed to ride in their cabins as an equal. As the 20th century advanced, the phrase, the real McCoy, outlived the man himself. It was heard in advertisements, slang, and even Hollywood scripts, a testament to the enduring reliability of his invention, yet detached from its origin. Generations repeated the phrase without ever knowing that it honored a black engineer whose work changed the world. His name became a metaphor for authenticity, even as his true story was buried beneath layers of racial silence. Today, Historians and educators are slowly reclaiming McCoy's legacy. His patents are now recognized as milestones in mechanical engineering. Museums and cultural institutions have begun to include his story in exhibits about the Industrial Revolution. In Detroit, where he spent much of his life, a memorial stands in his honor, marking the place where his ideas helped power a century of innovation. 
But even with this recognition, his erasure from mainstream narratives remains a powerful reminder of how deeply racism shaped the history of invention. The truth is that Elijah McCoy's story is not just about a machine. It is about how genius can bloom in the most hostile soil, how progress can come from the hands of those the world refuses to see, and how history itself can be engineered to favor one race over another. His invention did more than lubricate engines. It challenged the belief that intelligence and innovation belonged only to Europe. It proved that the descendants of the enslaved could master the very technologies that power the empire which once enslaved them. In remembering McCoy, we remember all those whose brilliance was hidden by prejudice, whose patents were stolen, whose inventions were attributed to others. His life is a testament to resilience, a quiet, unshakable defiance that refused to let genius be defined by skin color. And though he may have died without riches or renown, every train that thundered across the iron rails of the 19th and 20th centuries carried with it the invisible touch of his hand. The next time you hear the phrase, the real McCoy, Remember that it is not just a saying. It is a code of truth, a whisper from history reminding us that the real story of invention is far more complex, far more diverse, and far more human than we were ever taught to believe. Elijah McCoy was not just an inventor. He was the beating heart of an age that tried to forget him. But history, no matter how rewritten, cannot silence the truth forever.